Welcome to Always Dolls. This is Sarah and I'm so glad you're here. With the excitement building as American Girl gets closer to releasing their new Be Forever doll, Claudie Jones, we thought to craft some fun 1920s themed items for her. Today we show you how to make your dolls a delicious pineapple upside down cake since they were very popular during Claudie's era. We also made a printable for this vintage Bisquick cake mix box. You can find the link in the description below. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a new DIY. To make the cake, we used Little Maker brand of white air dry clay and blended it with the leftover Ecru coloured clay from our DIY AG Donuts video. For a simple cake mould, we took a paper cup and cut away the top 1.5cm, giving us a cake with a diameter of 7cm. Place your mould on a flat surface and cover with a sheet of cling wrap. Pop the clay inside and push it out to the edge. Fold the extra cling wrap over the top, then flip the mould over and use the palm of your hand to press the clay flat. Gently pull the clay out and unwrap it so it can dry and harden overnight. To add shading, we started with a base coat of light yellow paint. Using a damp brush really helps achieve a smoother result with less streaking. Next, we applied a thin layer of yellow ochre, making sure to bring the colour down the sides of the cake. For that golden baked look, use a brown paint with red undertones and dry brush this colour around the edge of the cake and halfway down the sides. While waiting for our piece to dry, let's make the pineapple slices. Here we mixed a tiny portion of orange air dry clay with yellow to give it more warmth. On a non-stick surface, roll out a thin sheet of this clay. For a cutter, we took a cap from a juice drink that has a 2.5cm diameter. For this cake, you will need to cut at least 12 circles. Next, remove a hole from the centre of each circle using a regular sized plastic straw. To define the pineapple segments, impress lines into your clay with a sewing pin. First, divide the circle into quarters, then into eighths. Place your pin against the end of each line and pull the clay inward to define the end of each segment. At this stage, your pineapple slice will look a bit like a flower. Now gently scrape your pin over the clay to create texture inside each segment. When your clay has dried out, dry brush your slices with orange paint to add more dimension and realism. To make lots of cherries quickly, roll a teeny tiny pinch of red air dry clay into a bowl. With a dotting tool or toothpick, make a small pit at the top, then set aside to dry. You need to glue a cherry into the middle of seven pineapple slices. Using liquid glue, adhere your first pineapple slice in the centre of the cake, then adhere the others around it. Cut your remaining pineapple slices in half, then glue them to the edge of the cake as seen on screen. For the necessary sugar syrup shine, generously cover the cake and all your pineapple slices with Gloss Mod Podge. To go the next step and make a vintage cake mix box, just click the link in the description and print off the image onto computer paper or white cardstock. We like to glue two or more extra layers of computer paper behind our printable to make the box stronger, then cover the image with clear contact paper. Now cut out the printable with all the tabs seen on screen. Fold along the lines, then seal the side and bottom of your box with glue. We chose double-sided tape. It's optional, but we filled our box with scraps of foam board before gluing the top shut permanently with more double-sided tape. Perfect! Now your dolls can enjoy a popular 1920s sweet treat with Claudie when she arrives. Thanks again for stopping by and see you guys soon for more miniature crafting fun!